What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is episode number 17, I want to say. I'm, not, I'm starting to lose track of the episode numbers. Uh, it normally doesn't take too long for me to do that, but we're at that point now. I think it is 17. But anyway, today we are going to be uh, just battling a lot of trainers, basically. Um, I know we did a lot of that last time, but our goal is going to be to get over to, I think... Where we, we're headed to uh, Vealstone next, I think. I should probably check the map. Uh, I know we're going north of here, but I think then it pulls east, if I'm remembering correctly. But it uh, doesn't hurt to take a look. Yeah, I think we're going to take Route 210 and then cross over to Route 215 to head on over to Vealstone City, if I am remembering correctly. I could be wrong about that, um, because I keep getting mixed up between games, and apparently my memory is not very good of 4th Gen, at least not as good as I figured it would be but uh let's take a quick look at the team here to see where we're at we have Bill the Togetic level 28 Kaylee the Breloom level 27 Sarah the Jar the Jarchomp yeah that's a good name Garchomp level 28 Chloe who somehow miraculously is still alive at level 28 Miranda uh the Quagsire here sitting at level 28 and then Rikari at level 27 and I think I'm actually going to put Rikari up at the front to get her some action get her up to level 28 like everybody else um, so we need to pull out our bike here and yeah, so I'm pretty sure I battled everybody that I could battle. We got all the items and such. So, uh, the Psyduck should be up here. Cafe Cabin, freshly squeezed milk. I think we can battle some people in there too. So I should probably get on that. Oh look, the Psyducks are here. The Psyduck are standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. Okay. We're going to need to get the secret potion before we can worry about that. So yeah, we'll be heading to Vealstone. Oh, welcome! This is this place is my pride and joy. Well, okay then. Uh, Manager Donna, that's actually a somewhat decent name for uh, somebody in this place. But uh, we have Moscarain here, level 25. And I will hit it up with an Ember, as it is going to quick attack us. That does absolutely nothing. And Ember should be a solid to a KO. It does decide... Blah, 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 that made no sense. It does decide to go for uh, not quick attack this time because we get off another attack. So it's going down. Rikari's going up to level 28, and it's a good time. So I guess we'll battle some uh, other people here. Are you going to battle me? Uh, no, you are not. Alrighty then. And neither are you. Youngster, you've seen the Psyduck huddled outside. Psyduck are rare Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. I don't know if it works that way. I think we actually have to give them medicine. Uh, you're going to battle me. Alrighty then, Mr. Collector, who's not really going to be a collector. You're going to be a gentleman. He looks like a gentleman, you know, with a backpack. That's that's reasonable. We have Golbat here, level 25. And uh, Rikari should be able to handle this, although uh, Chloe probably will handle it much better because we are immune to... Why can't I talk? We are immune to poison and we quad resist uh, any flying type stab. If you want to go for Astonish, that's fine, as uh, we actually resist that too, because this is 4th gen. So I will, uh, I will just rock throw you. That should be a 2 at KO. Yeah, you want to go for Wing Attack? Be my guest! That does a whopping 2 HP. It's not like you have Aura Sphere or anything, right? Right? You better not. I will cry. That has to be a critical hit. And it is, because uh, Chloe doesn't one hit KO anything, unless it's like Ninjask or something. But, uh, yeah, not really too much experience there either, but... That is fine. We did get a decent amount of money. We can use that to buy some stuff. And we got another collector slash gentleman here. Kate. Gentleman Kate. All right. All right. I can I can, uh, can deal with that, I guess. So we have Primeape here, level 25. And Rikari, I guess, could handle it. But Miranda could also handle it. I'm just going to stick with Rikari. We should be able to hit it with a couple of embers, I would think. Maybe three. Possibly, yeah, it's looking like a 3-8 KO. Seismic Toss is a fixed amount of damage. And we should be able to take three more of those because it's at level 25. So we should be in the clear here, and it's great that we outspeed this too. Uh, Assurance is not going to do too much, I don't think. Nope. So we can go for Ember again. And if we get a high roll, it might take it out. And we do. All right, Rikari coming through there. And that's going to do it for Gentleman Kate. Well, okay then. Um, do you have Moo Moo Milk? How are you doing? What you having? Of course, all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. 500 a bottle. Would you like to add some to your traveling supplies? I would like to add a dozen. 
And can I buy another dozen? Um, yes, I can. Oh, yeah, it's, it's only uh, 500. What am I thinking? Thinking it's a lot more than that. I'm going to buy a whole bunch. That's good. All right. I mean, three dozen, that's 36. Yay, I know basic math. Uh, that should be enough for now. We could always come back here. We will have to come back to this area uh, eventually for the Psyducks, but we're not going to do that right now. And since we have access to the Pokemon Center still without running into any grass or anything, I'm going to go uh, take advantage of that again. So uh, the goal for today, I guess, is going to be to get over to a field stone because I'm going to make this a longer episode. It should be hovering in the 40 to 50 minute range. Um, that's that that is the goal. I don't know if it's going to end up like that, but that's what I'm going for. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I want to put Kaylee out in the front now, get her some action, get her up to level 28 like everybody else. I don't need to be on the bike. Do I need to go down here? There's a honey tree and not much else. Alrighty then, moving on. See what I did there? Moving Moo Moo Milk. Uh, I should not make jokes or puns. I'm a treasure hunter. Today the loot is a victory from you. Oh my gosh, I just got pwned. I just got owned by this guy. He's crazy. Biker Tia. You cannot win an argument against Biker Tia. You will get served. Lanoon is here, and this is great for me because I can just mock punch you in your stupid face. Take that, you little ferret weasel thing. Yeah, don't mess around with Kaylee. She will mock punch your face. All right, we got Cricket Hot. Cricket Hot. It is raining, which kind of stinks because that means Rikari is basically useless. But we have other team members, and I will go out into Chloe for this. Uh, this thing better not have, like, Brick Break, or I will cry. And even still, that won't kill me. Bide. Don't miss this rock throw. Thank you very much. Can this Oko a Cricketot, please? Yes, it can. All right, Chloe can Oko something that isn't quad weak to rock. Yay. Oh, and that does it for Biker Tia. Wow. Wow, Biker Tia. You, uh, you talk a big game, my friend. And you have a Cricketot, so I don't really know what to think about that. Um, I don't want to go up there. Really no need for that. This guy might battle me. I'm not really sure. But we are going to pick up this Stardust. So that's cool beans, I guess. You're not going to battle me? All these runners and joggers and no one wants to battle me. I just want your money. It's not really, uh, it's not really that complicated. And your experience. Let's talk to you. Do unto others as they do unto you. Yep, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you do that in real life, there'll be no end to the fighting, that's for sure. And he's going to hand over TM66, which is obviously payback. As I said, payback is harsh. Use it after the foe and its power gets doubled. Yes, that is how the move works, my friend, but thank you. I feel like there's a hidden item here. No? No? Ah, there it is. A blue shard. And there's an item over there, too, along with the trainer, if we had Samuel with us, who has cut. But I do not, so we're just going to have to uh, battle this guy instead. Check the sharpness of my fighting Pokemon's moves. Watch him have no fighting Pokemon now. He only has one Pokemon, Preschooler Zoe. All right, and it's a Hippopotas. Nice, nice and fighting type there. Um, we should be able to stay out on this. I don't think it's going to pull like an Ice Fang or Aerial Ace or something. Uh, Sandstream obviously changes the weather, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I'm going to pull out the Bullet Seed here. And if we get like three hits, maybe we should be able to take it out. Possibly. Yeah, it's looking like three hits unless we get a critical hit on this one, which is possible. But it's not, and we only get the two hits, which really stinks. So we have to get hit by Sand Tomb, and we're going to get hit by the residual damage from Sand Tomb in between turns, and then the actual Sandstorm itself. So that is uh, kind of stinky, but it's okay because we can finish this little baby hippo off with a Mach Punch and get some nice experience as well. And that does it for Preschooler Zoe. Alrighty then. Uh, wait a minute. Is this a different route? I think it is. I didn't even check to see if it, it changed into Route 211. Crap. And it's an Abra, too. I mean, I guess I'm going to try to capture it, and then I'll check. Um, and if it's not legal, I will just immediately release it next time we get to a Pokemon Center. That stinks that it's Abra, too, because this thing is going to teleport on me, isn't it? Uh, I guess I have to throw a Dusk Ball. That would be my best chance. I don't have a Click Ball or anything. Um... It's gonna teleport, I know it is. Please stay in this dust ball. It is nighttime, it is so nighttime that it's not even funny. There's one, there's two, 
There's three. All right, there is the Abra staying in, and I will pull up the comment section here. Uh, it is a male Abra. Let's just look through the comment section really fast and see who we have here. Who commented on the last video that's been commenting and, uh, you know, uh, contributing? I could not think of the word. My goodness. Uh, who do we have here? Who do we have? Uh, apparently, these are all people that I've uh, already named stuff after. We have Tyler. Okay, we're going to uh, go with Tyler. That seems like a good name for a Abra. Why not? I mean, it might not even be legal, so we might have to save that name for the next one. But, um, yeah, we'll go with Tyler. Tyler, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Tyler E R. Almost put an S on there. Tiles. Tiles the Abra. Yes, okay. All right, let's check the town map. I didn't even pay attention to the route change. Uh, route 215, yeah, yeah, that was definitely uh, our encounter. All right, so we have an Abra, and it's legal. Cool beans. That's something. I, I completely uh, just zoned out on that, but I'm happy it worked out. I'm happy it worked out. It turns out that we could really use Samuel on this route, because apparently there's a lot of different areas where uh, cut could be useful. What does this say? Trainer tips! Pokemon attacks are classified as being either physical or special. Okay, and at that I'm going to walk away because... I know how that works. What is this? Is this a TM? No, it is a big root. Would have been useful for Breloom if it still knew uh, Mega Drain, which it does not. Oh, that would have been so cool if we had a Torchic encounter. But uh, having a Psychic type Pokemon actually does help a lot because we have so many water types and we do have uh, Rikari. So yeah, it's not, uh, not too useful, I guess. I mean, a fighting type would have been nice, too, I suppose. I suppose. More cut things. And... Oh, here we go. Another battler here. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger. And that's why you're in the rain, I guess. Preschooler Daniel. With a shroomish. Okay, well, Kaylee, you're about to kill uh, your little cousin here. And you're gonna enjoy it. Let's go uh, Bullet Seed, because it doesn't make physical contact, so at least there's that. It should do a solid chunk, um, because I... Oh, yeah, it is resistant hit. I was about to say it's a neutral hit, but it's not. Obviously, it's a Grass-type attack. It still does solid damage. Stun Spore, I was trying to actually avoid the Effect Spore, but that ended up not working out in my favor. So now I'll just go for Mach Punch. Just kidding, we're going to get fully paralyzed and get hit with the Mega Drain which does a whopping 3 HP. And I will try to go for Mach Punch again, and Kaylee will break through this time. And that is a dead Shroomish. Of course, we get a critical hit. I'm pretty sure that was meaningless. But, you know, Rosarade. Okay, we're going to want to switch here. That is not a good matchup for us. Um, actually, Rikari would be our best bet, but the rain is not really working in our favor there. So, it's looking like Bill is going to be our best choice, because at least it resists the Grass Stab. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Bill it is, and Roserade has pretty bad physical defense, too. Um, so I should be able to return it here. Magical Leaf, okay, that's good. It's unfortunate that you outspeed me, but if you want to go for Magical Leaf, that's fine. That doesn't do too much. We're going to miss the return, which stinks, but I will go for it again. Sweet scent. So now, uh, those, you know... Never missing Magical Leafs will never miss even more, question mark. But we do hit the return, and that does like 80%. Bill is like raw power right now. Uh, another sweet scent. Can we hit this return? Yes, we can, and Bill is going to get the kill. And by the way, Bill, who this Togetic is named after, uh, if you notice him down in the comment section, he's there pretty much every video from what I've seen. Uh, he changed his icon to a Togetic. Just saw that today. Uh, so shout out to Bill for being awesome. Love the new icon. A lot of people have been doing that. Um, a lot of people have been changing their icons to the Pokemon that they now rep that now represent them. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm enjoying that. So we have Porygon here who's going to trace the effects for, but we're already paralyzed. So guess what? I don't care about that. And I will just mock punch you into oblivion, and you are dead. Oh, just kidding. You are not dead. Magnet Rise, alrighty then, um, you know, because I was going to hit you with that all-powerful Mud Slap, 
Just kidding. I'm going to hit you with a mock punch and you're going to be dead. Actually, that was kind of risky on my part because I'm pretty sure that Porygon at that level or around that level knows Psybeam. So that could have been disastrous. I don't know if it would have killed, but uh, it would have done a lot of damage. Would have done a lot of damage indeed. So not, not bag. I want to move Kaylee out of the front spot. And I will put Bill out there. I feel like Bill's been getting a lot of use the last couple of episodes. I feel like he's just been, uh, been doing stuff. Another item with um, freaking cut thing in front of it. There's an item up here too. Another Torchic. I will run away from that and we'll go grab whatever this is. It is a Firestone. Oh, rest in peace, Frank. Why did that have to happen? Maybe we'll find another Frank. Whoa, 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 Star Raptor, okay. Thankfully we can run away from that because it's only level 19. Uh, yeah. Now I guess we could evolve our Eevee into Flareon, but I don't think that that'll be incredibly useful because in fourth gen, Flareon was absolute garbage. Um, yeah, it just was not good at all. So we pick up a Max Revive, which is completely and utterly useless in a Nuzlocke. So that doesn't help us too much. I'm going to, let's see, we got double battles coming up here. I'm going to go with, let's see, I will go with Sarah and Bill at the front of the party. Because these double battles have been really hard on us. This is where like all of our close calls and deaths have been for the most part. Two out of the three deaths, that is. The other one was a stupid freaking Rampardos with Pursuit. I'm still salty about that. I'll take on anyone. It can only make me stronger. Uh, except for when you consistently lose and your Pokemon never gain any levels. Except for that, right? Oh my gosh. Six Pokemon. All right. And level 24 too. So they're not like extremely low leveled. But uh, we should be able to handle this. Hippowdon and Ladian. And we do not have the rain anymore. We have uh, other things happening like sandstorms. All right. So I'm not afraid of that Hippowdon at all. I am more afraid of the late. Am I really more afraid of the Ladian? No. What, what is that Ladian going to do to me, honestly? I'm still going to return the Ladian. I don't care. I will Dragon Rage the Hippowdon. How about that? We'll see how much that does. Uh, I'm expecting that to be like a 2 -week KO, possibly. Nope, not even. Reflect. Ooh, I don't like that so much. I don't like that so much. Bill actually hits the uh, return there. And it still does over half through the Reflect. Are you kidding me? And we're going to get yawned by freaking Hippowdon. That is ridiculous. I will return the Lady in to hopefully kill it. And... Hmm. This is a tough one. I don't... I want to switch out, but it's like... I don't want to switch in... Chloe on a possible, like... I don't know what that thing would have. It doesn't have Earthquake, right? Yeah, I, it's probably just in my best interest to go into Miranda because I know she can take any hit. Uh, mock Punch from the Ladian, which does nothing. We miss our return, of course, and we're going to have to take a takedown, but it's actually Bill that's taking it. We solve the Sandstorm Raging. Uh, I will return again on the Ladian and switch Sarah back out, and hopefully we don't get yawned right here. The so Mach Punch again, and we actually hit our return this time, so Ladian is gone. No more Mach Punches, which is nice. Please don't yawn. Take down. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take down Sarah. I'm not going to actually take her down. It's just, you know, it's it's a hypothetical takedown. Vibrava is here. I really hope this thing doesn't have Dragon Rage. I don't know if it does. I'm scared now, though. I'm scared of the potential Dragon Rage. So I'm going to switch in somebody I'm gonna switch in somebody uh, I'm gonna switch in Miranda here and we are going to Dragon Rage the hmm who do I want to who do I want to kill does it matter I'll get rid of the Hippowdon that Hippowdon is just annoying right now it is just annoying I want it out of here so that's gone no more hippo shenanigans Bill's going up to level 29 and it's gonna go for sand attack and miss what? Oh, I have Sand Veal. It had to go... Uh, sh yeah, it had to be using Sand Attack on Sarah. Um, the Sand Veal is helping me there, so that's cool. Unfortunately, 
I don't really have much that I can do here. <laughs> Vibrava is immune to ground type attacks. Uh, I guess I will... I mean, I guess I'll Water Gun and Dragon Rage, because why not? I really don't want to get Sand Attacked, so hopefully we can kill it and not get Sand Attacked. That would be great. I don't think Water Gun's going to kill that. Tail Glow. That's a little bit scary. I don't know if this thing's actually going to have any special attacks, but it decides to just go for Sonic Boom, the Vibrava. I mean, that does a solid 20 HP. Water Gun actually does take this Vibrava out, so that's cool beans. Sarah's going up to level 29. Which is also cool beans, it's just cool beans everywhere. We have the reflect going, so that is... I was gonna say cool beans for like a, the fifth time, but I decided not to. And now we have Weedle, which is most definitely the most dangerous possible thing that could, you know, ever hit the field. I'm gonna mud shots, even though it's not very effective, on the Volbeat, and I will Dragon Rage the Volbeat as well. So, we should at least have this thing below half. As, yeah, that's... Ooh, and it's going for a special attack. Uh-oh, I didn't think it would have a special attack. And it's a critical hit. Miranda is gone! Because of a critical hit. Now, granted, I know that was at plus three, but Miranda was almost at full health, and she is stupidly bulky. That is really gonna hurt the team. Oh my goodness. What is it with these freaking critical hits? Oh my gosh. Again, we're gonna have to add a new team member. All right, I, I guess I'm, we're going out into Rakara here. Unbelievable. I'm going to Ember that and actually no. We will Ember the Weedle and I will Dragon Rage the Volbeat. I cannot believe that just happened. A freaking Tail Glow Volby critting me. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right. And Dialga is here. Okay. I see how it is. Does this thing get any dragon type moves early on? I don't know. And that scares me. I mean, I. I don't know if it gets Aura Sphere either or Earth Power early on, so I don't necessarily want to just switch in Chloe to get demolished, but what choice do I have? I I'm thinking I gotta stay in here. Um, we're gonna Ember. <laughs> Ember and Dragon Rage. I mean, this should be a solid two at KO, so we just gotta try to survive the turn, basically. Scary face, okay, uh, so we gotta survive the next turn now. Actually, no, no we don't, because it's only on one Pokemon, not on both. So Sarah should stall speed, and we can hit it with another Dragon Rage, and that should kill it. Right? I will quick attack too, just to get some, a little bit of extra baby damage off. I don't know if that's gonna matter. That might make a difference. I have no idea. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was it a speed tie? Why, why is Sarah not going first? Thankfully that didn't do too much. I thought Sarah went first last time. Did it not happen that way? I don't know what's going on. I must have just mixed something up there, um, or it was a speed tie. I don't really know. I'm a little bit delirious right now and delusional because I'm freaking salty that Miranda is gone over a stupid critical hit. <sighs> All right. I don't know if we got everything on that route, to be honest, but we need to go heal really badly. We wanted to go to Celestic Town, but there were some Pokemon in the way. Who knows why they're there, but they're not budging. Yes, those, those Psyduck, you know. You know. Good old Vealstone. This is one of my favorite places in the entire game. I love the music. It's so nostalgic for me. So we're going to have a lot of exploring to do. And uh, we can probably get to that in this episode, honestly. Um, let me do a time check really fast. We're sitting at about 24 minutes or so. So yeah, we have plenty of time to do some stuff. Uh, first things first, we do have to go uh, deposit... Freaking Miranda. If you use the hit and move fly, you'll be instantly whisked to any town you've visited before. Okay, then. That's how it works. Maylene, the gym leader, is a cute girl, but don't let her looks fool you. Even grown-ups have trouble with her. Um, I hope you're talking about battling. Uh, I mean, we, I guess if anyone was going to go, Miranda would be the one to go because, you know, um, as we're going to expand our death box here. 
Rest in peace, Miranda. And again, rest in peace, all of our other uh, dead mons here. But we have so many water types, it's ridiculous. We've got TJ, we've got Joshua, Shadowhawk, Jordan, and Toad, and the uh, Bibarel here, CJ. So it's, it's like we have options. Oh, and Krabby, too. Krabby's up there. We have so many water types. Like, half of our box is just water types. Um, I kind of enjoyed the water, fire, and grass core, too. And it keeps getting, keeps getting interrupted. Messed with. Meddled with. Um, so let's see. We have kind of a bad ground weakness or a double ground weakness going on here. I don't think they share any other weaknesses. Uh, no, water. So... Water type would go nicely. Something that resists water, so that would uh, rule out TJ. Um, Toad could be useful. Joshua, I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. If we get a Remoraid and we can evolve it, that would be great. But otherwise, we're not going to be able to. So I'm, I'm leaning towards Shadowhawk here just because... Oops. Just because he is clearly, clearly the most powerful in our box. Um... Let's see. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think carefully here. Although I kind of want to use Toad too, with that nice, careful nature. I feel like uh, Shadowhawk could be very, very useful in the late game, so we might want to save him for later on, um, like closer to Elite Four time. All right, you know what? We're gonna pick up Toad. We are gonna pick up. No, we are actually going to pick up Toad. There we go. Okay. So, Toad, welcome to the team with all of your cloud nineness. Let's check out your moves really fast again. You have Water Gun, Disable, Confusion. Okay, so you're not doing too good as far as the move department, but we'll have to change that. I guess I will give you an experience share for now because I have it somewhere. Somewhere in here. It's got to be towards the bottom, right? There it is. All right, so Toad has the experience share. And I will put Chloe out in the front since she's level 28. Giggle, will you have a battle with us? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll thoroughly check out your abilities as a trainer. Yes, I'm sure you will. Champions, Cam and Allie with a Rhydon and a Scizor. This does not look good. I already don't like this. Um, I really don't like this. I really, really don't like this. That Rhydon, especially, is scaring me. If it has, like... It, wait, it doesn't learn any ground-type moves, does it? Not at this level. It's not like it knows Earthquake. Um, I don't think... What is it gonna have? Dig? Mud Slap? No, we can stay in. We can stay in. I will Rock Throw the Scizor, and I will Dragon Rage the Rhydon. We should be okay here. We really should, unless the Scizor has superpower. I'm really hoping it doesn't. See how much this Rock Throw does. Two and a half. Oh, that did decent damage. Metal Claw. Okay, Sarah should be able to take that relatively well. And Scary Face on Chloe. She's already slow as can be anyway. I will Rock Throw again, and I will Dragon Rage the Rhydon. So Rhydon should be gone here. Uh, actually, no, it's going to survive with a tiny little bit of HP, and we're going to get scary-faced on Sarah now, as we actually hit another rock throw. I will tackle the Rhydon to take it out, since it has, like, one and a half HP, and then we will Dragon Rage the Scizor. We're still faster than everybody, despite being at minus two speed after that scary face, so we're going to get out of here with everybody alive, I think. Fury attack, okay, that's fine. You can hit three times, I don't care about that. I'll tackle you, you're gone, and... Yeah, that was that was just a lot of fun. I lost, but I'm totally thrilled. We made a wonderful spectacle. I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that. I'm so bummed about Miranda, my gosh. Ah, oh, I just skipped over all of his text. I bought a new parasol, but I don't want to get rained on, so I watch the TV weather reports. Okay, aren't you just freaking in tune with everything that's going on in the world? You're so uh, amazing. Emis says that Mount Coronet parted Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Chelos makes me think maybe the myth is real. Uh, yeah, it is real. If there are people who desire to see them, Pokemon will appear in many different guises. Guises? I... I can't remember the last time I saw someone use that word. What do we have in this house? 
You're a trainer, aren't you? You see, there's this Pokemon I'd like someone to look after. It's a Pokemon called Porygon. I found it near Team Galactic's building. I'm no trainer, so can you take it off my hands? Sure, but we unfortunately don't have any room in our party for it. So, yes. And that will be our encounter for uh, Vealstone City. I don't think we can get an encounter any other way, if I'm remembering correctly. So, I'm fine with... I'm fine with that. We could use another Pokemon. So let's go to the box here. And let's see. Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll just put Toad in the box for now. Porygon could be a nice addition too. It's a nice normal type. It's a nice normal type as opposed to a mean normal type. Like Chansey. Chansey's just mean and bitter and cold hearted and disgusting and fat. You're a trainer, aren't you? I already read this. Let's just say yes. Excellent, thanks! That'll make the Porygon happy, too! I suspect it ran away from those Team Galactic goons. Alright, so we accepted the Porygon. Let's go ahead and nickname it. And it's time to pull up the comment section again. This is genderless, so we can name it whatever we want. Um, who do we have? Who do we have? Do we have anybody that sounds like a, a non-specific name? Oh, we have... Uh, What's his name? Um, yeah, that's really nice. Describe your subscribers as what's his name? Yeah, you must really love your viewers. You're they're just they're just, you know, top notch. Alright, Koba Knight. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But that doesn't sound male or female. He's got a little Riolu as his picture. Um or icon or whatever you wanna say. Koba Knight. Koba Knight. Where's the T? Where's the T? Gosh darn it. There it is. I don't know why I just had a spasm there. I'm very, like, emotionally fragile right now. All right. So we have Kobanite, the Porygon, and we can go deposit that into the box and get ourselves towed back. And I guess we can just take a look at this, this new addition and see what he has. Why can I not do this? Like, I'm so bad at controlling the box. I really, really am. Brave nature, positive attack. Can I please get a decent nature Pokemon in this game? My goodness. Very finicky and like spicy food. It looks like, you know, it looks finicky. And it looks like it would like spicy things. Trace, nice high special attack stat and decent attack because of the brave nature. It does have Psybeam, agility, recover, magnet rise. I think we just got lucky. Unless it just learned it at level 25, because I'm pretty sure that Porygon that we fought was level 24 or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's get Toad back. There we go. Place, and we can continue on our merry way. We do have to head back onto Route 210, too, because I'm pretty sure I didn't get everything there. Um, there may be some extra battles and such. The game corner is dangerous! Why is it dangerous? It's so fun, I lose track of time. I got a TM as a prize from the game corner. I use it on my Pokemon right away. Well, aren't you just freaking special? Your TM, fancy technical machine winning at the game corner. You're so lucky. Salut, trainer. Two emble Pokemon. Uh, that is French for do I like Pokemon. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I like the Pokemon. Wow, see, si, c'est génial. So he does as well. Um, cool, I guess. Cool. Hewn from Rock, Fieldstone City. All right, so we can't get that item over there because uh, we need Rock Climb for that. So I guess we'll just continue our exploration. Yeah, Team Galactic is hiding all sorts of good stuff in the warehouse. I hear they even have a hidden machine in there. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy. What do we have up here? This is the Galactic Headquarters, right? Galactic Fieldstone Building, we dream of the universe. That is uh, just very meaningful sounding and deep pick up a protein here and I will use that I will so use that what do we have uh, I'll use it on Sarah yeah get that hack up a little bit because uh, she is modest after all uh, nothing over here I don't think we need to be heading into the uh, galactic building just yet this meteorite or these meteorites are for uh, Deoxys, which we don't really have to worry about, and by not really, I mean we don't have to worry about. We have the hidden machine that teaches fly stored in the warehouse. They said I can use it if I show them that I deserve it. Well, what are you doing over here, buddy? Go uh, prove all your worth and all that other stuff. Did I go over here yet? I don't think I did. 
Prize exchange. Okay, we don't need to go there. Do you know where one might find a coin case? I heard that there's a clown giving them away, but... But what? Finish your sentence if you're going to talk to me, my friend. A man spoke to me in a foreign language. He really surprised me. I think he was asking if I liked Pokemon or something. Yes, that was the, the French guy up there. He's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. Um, all right, I guess we're continuing this way. This really feels like there's a hidden item. This is so suspicious. It's like it's there just to have a hidden item. There's there's nothing else here. It's it's completely random. No, nothing? Nothing at all? Maybe I was wrong about you. Random platform? I guess I was. Okay, there's nothing there. I could just use my dowsing machine, but where's the fun in that? Where's your sense of adventure? I don't know who I'm talking to. Oh, he's just going to... Of course, the one guy I don't read the text, he actually gives us TM63, which is Embargo, so that uh, opposing Pokemon cannot use items on it. Or, I, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Opposing trainers cannot use items on said Pokemon. Yeah, all right. My sister's boyfriend is the Scarf Guy in Pastoria City. They send mail to each other by letting Pokemon deliver it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you don't give me anything then, right? Uh, I should probably talk to you. Oh, looking a little tired. Oh, no. Not you. I met your Pokemon. If you like, I can give a massage to a Pokemon. Would you like that? Nope. Hey, I'm not doing anything shady. Well, uh, I don't know. One of my rules is if anyone says that they're not doing anything shady, I automatically think that they're doing shady things. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, hello, Don. What is happening? Kelanation, are you going to take the gym challenge? Gee, you keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? What's it to you, Don? What's it to you? Are you here to insult me some more about how many Pokemon I have or have not captured? Asking if I lost a Quagsire recently, maybe? Me? Well, I went shopping at the department store and... I mean, well, of course, I've been working on my Pokedex, but... But what? Oh, hello, Crasher Wake. The ring is my rolling sea, the towering waves shaped me. Crash, crash, crash your way, crash. He has his own theme song and he sings it when he walks around. I don't understand. Put out the fire, crash your wake, run from electricity, crash your wake. Ah, 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 the ring is my sea. Uh, it's very cool that you have a theme song and you sing it, but yeah. Hello, dude and young lady. You're challenging the gym leader, are you? Let me tell you now, she's young. But she's a born genius. I tried training with her, and I was stunned by how tough she was. Whoops, I better tell you who I am. I'm the triple threat gym leader in Pokemon Wrestling and Song. I'm the Crasher Wake of Pastoria Gym. We'll meet again. And he's just going to take off. Well, okay then. Silence. Yeah, that's pretty much my reaction is, uh, what? So, uh, Culination, good luck on your gym challenge. And she's just going to take off. What was the point of that conversation? That whole interaction was completely and utterly pointless. Nothing was accomplished from that whatsoever. Um, Alright, so I guess we're ready to take on the gym. I don't think we have anything else that we need to do. I don't know if we are ready as far as levels are concerned. But actually, you know what I want to do? Is, since we're heading back on to Route 210 anyway to get whatever we miss, we might as well bring Samuel. So, let's pull Samuel out in favor of, or, um, oh, no, 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 who do I want to take out? Uh, I guess I'll take out Chloe for now. I'm going to add her back to the team, but uh, I'm, I'm not even going to change it on the layout, I don't think, because it's just very, very, very brief, and put Toad up there. Why not? Why not? I just want to go get uh, some of the items that are just chilling by the cut areas. Um, oops. Why am I going that way? Does anybody have any freaking idea what I'm doing? I know I certainly don't. All right. Back to Route 215. We, oh, it's not Route 210. 215. That's right. Wikiberry. All right. So I just walked right past these last time. A Mago Berry, or Mago Berry, or however you would like to pronounce it, of course. And probably never going to use that, but it is what it is. So let's go this way first. Use cut on this. See whatever this item is here. TM27, which is return. 
Okay, so now we have two TM27s, because Professor Rowan gave us one. Ah, there's nothing over here. What a tease. What a tease. I was keeping up with that jogger guy. He's not really running that fast, is he? Is he? No. Maybe he needs to train a little bit harder. Uh, all right. I'll use cut on this. Is this just a shortcut? Yes, it is. Yet another tease. Okay, so we need to go over here. How do I get up there? Is it through this grass? Yes, it is, but we have to run into a wild Ralts first and run away. Because we are scared. We're, we're secretly uh, pansies. Oh, you're going to battle us. Okay. You come along with your hard pounding. You think you can win like that? hey -ya! What is saying hey going to do for you? You really think that's going to allow you to win preschooler Marcellus with an Empoleon? Okay, I admit you have a uh, somewhat of a scary Pokemon here, especially in the rain. Especially because I don't have freaking Miranda for water absorb. Ah, this does not make me happy. This thing doesn't get any ice moves, right? It's not going to have, like, icy wind or something. And make me cry. I will sand tomb you because you're weak to that. I will take advantage of my protein boosted attack. And, yeah, that's almost going to Oko you. You're going to be trapped in the sand... Not sandstorm. Sand tomb? You're going to metal claw me? I don't care. That barely does, what, 12? That is nothing. And you're going to get hurt by it extra. I could probably slash you and kill you right now. In fact, I will, just to show you who's boss. Sarah doesn't care. She's modest, and she can still kill you with a slash. Take that. Take that. Toad's going to grow up to level 19. There's cool beans. There I go. Sing. Freaking cool beans again. And we have Togekiss, my arch nemesis. I will never forgive Togekiss for almost killing things. Makes me sad. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who wants to take on the Togekiss? Um, possibly Bill? That would be kind of funny, actually. I would love to see Bill kill a Togekiss. I'm all for that. Alright, let's go ahead and return it. What are you doing? Became cloaked in a harsh light. Is that Sky Attack? Do I have anything that can take a Sky Attack? Uh, I mean, I guess Bill can. I will return here. Sky attack. Please take it. Don't get a critical hit. I know it has a high critical hit ratio. Seriously? With the critical hits. That was not going to do that much. And return does over half. So that sky attack was not going to do as much as I figured it would. Uh, we definitely need to heal or something here. Um, what should I use? A super potion, I guess. I could use Moo Moo Milk, but I don't need that much HP. So I'll use a Super Potion. And I skipped over what move it used. Why did I do that? I don't know. Uh, oh, it's glowing with a light. All right. So you're going to just waste this turn and let me kill you with a return then. I'm completely okay with that. Thank you, Bill, for coming through for us there. Even though you still got critted. But, I mean, of course, Serene Grace does help it if it did have that. Um, you know, help its chances of getting that crit. And the flinch, too. Cranidose is next. We don't want Bill out for that. Uh, honestly, we could send out Samuel for this. Let him grow a level, because why not? Yeah, we'll get Samuel some action since he's in the team. And we'll magnitude. Uh, magnitude 6, and uh, that's not going to do as much as I wanted it to. But I will finish it off with a sucker punch. Just kidding. It's going to scary face me. I will sucker punch again. Stop scary facing me. I'm not scared. And focus energy. There we go. Finally, it tried to attack us. I was like, are you really going to stall me out of all of my sucker punches by using scary face and focus energy repeatedly? My goodness. All right. HP up. Let's use that on somebody, 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 somebody. Uh, I guess I will use it on. Let's use it on Bill. Give him a little bit more HP. Why not? Why not? All right, I think that's everything. Wait a minute. I see another tree. This is it promising? Is it just berries? It is just berries. Bluck berries. I know we have a couple of those. I still have no idea what they do, and I still am not going to check because I am um, a loser. Yeah, Torchic. Another Torchic. We've run into a lot of these on this route. So let's get ourselves over to... Fieldstone City again. Do I have to go through grass? I don't think I do. Get out of my way, Mr. Runner. 
No, we can get back there safely. And we can go pick up Chloe again. Will you get out of my way, Explorer Man, who looks kind of like Indiana Jones? Off to the Pokemon Center we go. This is such a boring part of the episode. We haven't really done a whole lot. But uh, we did make it to Bealstone. We did our exploring, got all that out of the way. So that's, that's something, at least. Nope. Move Pokemon. There we go. All right. Chloe, you're coming back on the team here. And... Samuel, you're going back in the box, but thank you. I should probably take that shell bell off of you because it's not really doing me any good from inside box one, now is it? No, it is not. All right, so our next task is going to be to take on the gym. I do not believe there's anything else that we can do at this time or that would be necessary to do at this time. So uh, we're going to be trying to get our fourth gym badge. I'm thinking this is a really good place to stop, but I'm going to check the time here. Uh, oh, it's been... Pretty much exactly 46 minutes, so that this is a perfect place to stop. And uh, next time, like I said, we'll be heading into the gym, hopefully not losing anybody else. Miranda, sorry I killed you, but, you know, it was really just the critical hit. Um, I'm pretty sure that a signal beam from a Volby, even at plus three, would not kill her from almost full health, especially when Miranda had a decent level advantage, too. Pretty sure that critical hit mattered. Anyway, it doesn't matter now she's dead. She's gone, we'll never see her again, and we'll just have to uh, move on with our lives. But Toad is on the team, and uh, hopefully he can make a difference as much as Miranda did in the early game. So I want to thank you all for watching, of course. Uh, if you guys want to show your support, feel free to do so by clicking that like button, or you can just continue to comment like you guys have been so good about. And I will see you all tomorrow for another episode. But until then, game on.